I, I feel myself tearing up now talking about it. Um, I, it's, it's weird. You know, you're in the booth and you know it's not real and you know that none of this, I don't know. That, that happens all the time, you know? If, you, if you're an actor, you try and bring the truth, right? You try to feel it. And not, not to be method, but just that's where you're gonna get the most realistic performance, if that makes sense. But if you can make yourself believe in that moment, then, then it's gonna carry through. It's gonna, the audience is gonna connect with that as well. Anyway, that's a really long answer to your question. <laughs> Okay. Yes, sir. What was it like playing Mordecai in Mortal Man? Oh man, it, uh, awesome. Uh, yeah, super fun. Uh, Gearbox team and all the uh, the different variations of you know combinations of staff. You know, I've had different directors. I've had different writers in the room. Uh, they've always been super open to my improvisation. They've uh, been pretty um, respectful of my Latin heritage. My father's from Chile. Um, oh. and, and they, uh, they liked that, and it was one of the reasons that, that I ended up with that role in the first place. Uh, they liked, yeah, they liked me to, to screw around, like, you know, we'd do a line, and they're like, hey, that, that seems a little, and they're like, well, how would you say it? You know, and they let me basically rewrite on the fly, and you know, a lot of times that ends up in there. And that's not typical for the video game stuff, but yeah. short answer, awesome. Thanks, Cody. No problem. Who's next? Yeah, she's forcing. Oh, she's forcing. Okay, well then, uh, um, Edward in the back. So, so um, uh, if you prefer voicing heroes or villains, and how you get prepared for either one? Um, you know, it's funny. If I've been doing a lot of one, then I prefer the other. Uh, always. Uh, I don't know. I tap into the more earnest part of myself. No, no pun intended. I know my first name is Ernesto, but. Uh, when I play a hero, I, I want to be sincere and be who I really am at my core. And, and, and my intention on this earth is to be, you know, a good man and, a, 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 you know, a heroic person. Not necessarily, I mean, I have had an opportunity to, to help uh, in, in saving someone in my life before. I, I used to train in Krav God. One of my buddies went down with a Widowmaker problem. I had to give him the chest compressions until the, until the guys came and showed up, and the prep astronauts showed up. Uh, and that's, you know, pretty intense, I guess. But, uh, but yeah, I want to be that kind of person. So when I'm playing a hero, I guess that, that's, I try to connect honestly with that. Uh, the villains, I personally find to be kind of cool, if that makes any sense. Uh, and they're not all like that. Like, some are ridiculous. But, you know, a villain like Dobby is distinctly, to me, super cool. You know, every scene I've seen him in, even when it's a clone of his getting his butt kicked, I still think he's cool. Like, even if it's just 20% him, I'm like, oh, he's still cool. Like, <laughs> even if he loses, he's cool. Uh, I've definitely played some villains where I've been like, oh, great, man, shut up. I guess I gotta say it anyway. It's written. Yeah. Anyway, does that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite scene from Noragami? My favorite scene? Oh, I've got a few, if that's okay. Um, Yato's interesting. Yato's my most. Uh, I refer to him as my most schizophrenic character. Uh, <laughs> he is he is everything. He is a hero, he's a goofball, and he's every shade in between. Um, I like the scene where he pops up in the covers of her bed. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> really, really weird. Uh, with a goofy, toothy grin. Yeah. Um, that made me laugh out loud in the recording of it. Not, not what I did, just like looking at the animation, I laughed out loud. I mean, it was like... This is awesome. The animation is awesome. The impulse behind this moment is awesome. Um, when he got in the trash can, uh, yeah. like, what the, that whole episode where they're falling and yeah. I don't know, that stuff is hilarious. And then I love it when he becomes a warrior. Like that, that seems very, I don't know, he's a character that all these things seem possible and true. You know what I mean? Yes. 